Yo guys, this is HD here, and in this video, I'm just gonna be answering all the most frequently asked questions on the Thorasi Text tutorial by Akers HD. Basically, because he used the 11.5 version, and that most of us have upgraded to the R12 version, it can be a slight pain to follow his tutorial because in some parts he uses stuff that are not the exactly there's not exactly the same in the R12 version or some things have moved about so hopefully I'll be clearing that out for you today so one of the most frequently asked question is where is the plane effector or I don't have a plane effector now obviously you haven't found it yet because there's obviously a plane effector right here and I'm using the R12 version so to find it you just go on to I believe is MoGraph effector and plane that's the plane that you use in his video when you select each one you go on to mo, mo graph effector and then click plane hope that one helped so the next question is that I have rigid bodies missing or I can't find rigid bodies for this and previously in the 11.5 and older versions they used to be under dynamic tags I believe but now they've moved since R12 so what you're going to want to do so following the tutorial you're going to hold press control and click both of these go to simulations dynamics and create rigid body that's what you're going to use and there you have it there are the rigid bodies now the next most frequently asked question is about the actual explosion the breaking apart of the first word now right now is not actually doing anything so following the tutorial what you're going to do is go click your dynamics tag go on to uh, trigger and velocity peak and also clicking on the word itself go to effectors and click off plane now what, what happens in R12 is not what actually you want it does some weird stuff and it doesn't actually break or anything so what you're gonna do, what you're gonna want to do in this one, is go on to your dynamics tag, go into collision, and change the individual elements to all from off to all, and you should get your breaking up effect. There you go. Now the final problem that us R12 users are getting while doing this tutorial is that our words aren't actually exploding the word Enzo HD in this example is actually not exploding but shattering instead and that's not exactly what we want if you see Acres version his one explodes like man and then flying pieces everywhere and it actually looks pretty good like there's no doubt the one I had it looks okay there's nothing wrong with it but it's not the effect that we actually want so this is my solution to it it's not it's not the exact effect you're not going to get the same effect there might be another method that you might get a better effect but for now this is what I have for you guys so hopefully this one helps so what you're going to do is basically click on the word that is shattering at the moment which you want to explode instead whilst clicking that you go on to this symbol the emitter symbol and go on to turbulence and what tabulates does it makes the words sort of fly about so let's have a look let's see what's going on right now same thing because the turbulence is actually downhill now if I just take off the camera view and have a look at what we have right now we've got our turbulence box right here so what you're gonna firstly want to do is to sync it with your with your keyframed movement of the thing so it's it's tracking along with it so what I'm gonna have to do is click mines I haven't actually grouped mines so I have a problem there so firstly I'm gonna untick my original one that's there then keyframe all the group plane groups the random effector and the turbulence all together at zero frames go to 145 probably drag these all along go across and keyframe it there now what you have now if you look is it's probably going to be the same thing your words are just crashing and I guess it's looking 
slightly different but that's not we want that's not what we want sorry now what you're going to want to do is change the strength to something a lot higher I'm going to make mine 400 turn the scale up bring all those numbers up and what you're going to see now is that your pieces are beginning to fly at this <laughs> fly they're starting to move about they're more of that explosion effect if we just look at a better angle as you can see you've got that kind of explosion effect and it's looking much better you can muck about with all of these you can move the box move the, the actual turbulence box itself over here make it larger so the spread of the explosion is a bit bigger by going on to the fallout it's inf infinite right now you can make it into a box and increase the size I'll leave it as infinite and just increase that size there and yeah I hope that helped guys I hope that clears out some of the stuff the problems that us R12 guys have had with the Acre tutorial I posted it as a video response to his one so most of you guys can see it we've got a great effect now and hopefully that helped safe guys